Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the God of manna, the God of miracles, the God of mercy. Amen. Amen. Draw to Jesus and seeking God's abundance, let us confess our sin. God, our provider, help, help us. us. It, it is, is hard to believe there is enough to share. We question your ways when they, they differ from the ways of the world in which we live. We turn to our own understanding rather than trusting in you. We take offense at your teachings and your ways. Turn us again to you. Where else can we turn? Share with us the words of eternal life and feed us for life in the world. Amen. Beloved people of God, in Jesus, the manna from heaven, you are fed and nourished. By Jesus, the worker of miracles, there is always more than enough. Through Jesus, the bread of life, you are shown God's mercy. You are forgiven and loved into abundant life. Amen. Amen.
of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also with you. And, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Creator and ever living God, we worship your glory, eternal three in one, and we praise your power, majestic one in three. Keep us steadfast in this faith, defend us in all adversity, and bring us at last into your presence, where you live in endless joy and love. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each with six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due God's name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord bursts forth in lightning flashes. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. 
The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak tree thrive and strips the forest bare. In the temple of the Lord, all are crying, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. O Lord, give strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. A reading from Romans. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. To John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. Nicodemus said to him, how can these things be? Jesus answered him, You are a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things. No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Good morning, kids. Jesus and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Holy Trinity. All right, so I brought something to help us think about the Trinity. All right, you see this? 
it's a it's a die. If there were two of them, it would be dice. But this there's only one, so it's a die. And on two sides, it's marked about Jesus. On two sides, it's it's marked for the Holy Spirit, and for on two sides, it's marked as God the Father, Creator. All right, so we're going to play a little game to see who shows up. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So, you're walking outside and you see a friend and the friend smiles. Who do you see? triangle. It's God. You're really hungry and someone gives you something to eat. Who do you see? Huh. It's a triangle. It's God. Let's see. You go outside and there's a beautiful flower. Who do you see? Oh, it's a triangle. It's God. Jesus wants us to remember, and I want to remember too, that Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we might not understand why we have different names, but the most important thing is to remember that who are we talking about? We're talking about God. 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 God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God the Creator, God the Redeemer, God the Sustainer. No matter what name we say, we're still talking about God. So, you know, you don't understand the Trinity. Most adults don't either. Don't tell them I told them that. But that's okay, because the most important thing to remember is that it's God. God loves you. God is with you. God will never abandon you, because God loves you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us the Trinity to think about. And we thank you for always loving us. When we see a friend smile, when someone feeds us when we're hungry, when someone comforts us when we're hurt, we see God in you. Thank you. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Bye. We live in an amazing place. God's incredible creation is on full display. From the depths of the L.C. Valley to the rolling hills of the Palouse, both witness to the power of wind and the power of water flowing over the earth. We are witnesses to the beauty, power, and awesomeness of God's creation. We worship in places of great history the oldest continually worshiping community in the state of Idaho, here at Genesee Valley. The gatherings of various ethnic groups, Germans, Norwegians, and everyone mixed together. Lutherans have worshiped together for hundreds of years in countries around the world gathered in the name of the Triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sustainer, one God, now and forever.
history is also found in the cemeteries, in which those from the past generations gather with the newly departed. On this Holy Trinity Sunday, we also celebrate Memorial Day weekend. We remember those who served our country through the horrors of war. Our past and present come together as we worship during the seasons of the Christian year that have been part of the gatherings of Christ followers through the millennia. Whether we gather in person or gather virtually like today, we continue to gather to worship, to learn, and to serve God and neighbor in word and deed. It is in our gathering that we find our strength Though sometimes we can drive each other crazy. We don't always agree. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we stomp away in a huff. Sometimes we're hurt. And sometimes we hurt others. But Christ's prayer for our unity continues to bring us together week after week, year after year. The unity of the Trinity is our model of life together, gathered around a table with room for others to join. It is our strength. It is our witness. There is room at the table for all. As we continue to emerge from our COVID-19 separation, let us remember the life we are called to, a life in relationship with God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. A life in relationship with each other, siblings in Christ, called to a common mission to be witnesses to God's love born out in our relationships. And a life in relationship with our neighbors, those right next door and those throughout the world the world God so loves. The message of God's love is not ours to hoard, but it is a generous gift that is to be shared. Blessings to you on this holiday weekend. Rest and relax. May we, the body of Christ in Lewiston and in Genesee, be blessed to be a blessing in the name of the triune God. Amen.
come before the triune God in prayer. We pray, O God, for your holy church around the world. Revitalize and renew us that we may be reborn once again through the waters of baptism and the blowing wind of your spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for your power revealed to us in creation, for cedar and oak trees, for rushing waters, for the echoes of thunder. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations and our leaders that led by your spirit, they work towards a world where all of your children enjoy peace. We pray especially for India as its citizens struggle with COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for healing for all those who suffer, especially victims and survivors of trauma or violence. Give respite to those living with PTSD or any other mental health conditions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the worship, this worship community, that the splendor of your majesty and the holiness of your mystery may be glorified through our worship and our relationships with one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For what else do the people of God wish to pray? in your mercy hear our prayer we give you thanks O oh god for those who have died in their faith we remember also those whose lives have been lost due to the horror of war lord in your mercy hear our prayer we lift our prayers to you O oh god trusting in your abiding grace amen the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and also with you. It is at this point that we would be collecting the offering if we were uh, in pre-pandemic times. And I want to say to you, thank you to all of you who have so graciously, faithfully, and generously supported the ministries of the church. Without you, uh, we wouldn't still be going. If you haven't had an opportunity to give, there's no time like the present. You can write a check, you can use your bank's bill pay. At Grace, you can use uh, the link on the website to donate, or you can download the Give Plus app from Vanco and give right from your phone. Whatever you can give is will be completely appreciated. Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, you have set this table with your very self and called us to the feast of plenty. Gather what has been sown among us and strengthen us in this meal. Make us to be what we receive here, your body for the life of the world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God. You reveal your glory as the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, equal in majesty, undivided in splendor, one Lord, one God, ever to be adored in your eternal glory. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Thank you. 
which he was betrayed. Our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. and share the bread and wine with these words. The body of Christ broken for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. For those of you who are alone watching this video, I say to you, the body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, we have received from your table more than we could ever ask. As you have nourished us in this meal, now strengthen us to love the world with your own life. In your name we pray. Amen. The blessing of God, who provides for us, who feeds us, who journeys with us, bless you now and forever. Amen.
Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.